Hello, this is Back Street Nets again with a new tutorial, and this time we're going to finish off this axe. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, first I'm going to turn this off. Now, I'm going to press Alt and select that, and Shift and Alt and select that. So I select on both sides. C and just that. Shift and Alt and select that. Same thing on the bottom. C. Shift and Alt and select there. Then I'll do the same thing up here. Except I'm going to press Z. C. Select that. Shift Alt and select that. And that should be it. Z. Okay. Yeah. Now Control E. Mark scene. Now the last tutorial. Oh, I guess I did the wrong thing there. Okay. So the last tutorial was very, very, very simple. And there wasn't anything hard about it. Anyone could have done it, really. Almost anyone. You'd have. To God, you'd have to have. You'd have. You just have to be very stupid not to be able to do that. I'm sorry to tell you. I mean, I'm sorry to offend people, but it is true. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I just selected the bottom one there, pressed H to hide it. And I notice it's that vertex there that was missing there, so that means that that is should be the other way around. I'm gonna press L R and rotate it like that. I'm going to move it up over here like that. Just like that. Do the same. I'm going to select that and shift select that. Oops. Rotate it 90 degrees. Move it there. Scale in a small bit so I can actually get the full thing. And just grab that. G. Y. Now. Just like um, those uh, things you do in school, those maps you do in school, there's the Y axis on the side there, and the X axis is long. So if you press Y, it'll move it upwards, and X to move it across. There's no Z axis. And so if you, move it to, if you want to move it up, you don't press uh, Z, you press Y. I know it's annoying. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> so, again, this is very simple, but it's the texturing that will bring out everything. I'm repeating myself now. Export UV layout. Yep. Now, I just downloaded the new version of GIMP. This is going to be the first time I open it. I have used it before on my other laptop, but not on this one. Take your time. Take all the time in the world. I should have opened this up before. I thought this was supposed to be a better bloody laptop. Why won't that close? Oh my god, it's gonna be there all day. Uh. 
Has that opened up yet? Yeah. Okay, it's nearly done. Um. Flash player can keep open. Nvidia definitely keep that open. Bamboo. I don't need to at the moment, but I'll keep it anyway. Okay. Uh, open. X.png. Now, if this was actually going to be used in the game, you'd want to make it 512 by 512 instead of 1024 by 1024. Because this is just way too big for a texture. Unless it's uh, a texture of a person, then it's fine. Because they're going to be seen very often and that kind of stuff. Now, first thing I want to do is add a new layer. Move that on un underneath. Going to get brush, fill it in with white. Change that back around. I'm going to get lasso and Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to fill that in with red. There we go. I'm going to get the lasso tool again. select around it and then get the bucket fill silver fill it in now with these two I'm going to use a texture that I saved on, that I have on my laptop um, on this computer it's not a laptop it's a desktop I'm going to click open as layers uh, open. Just gonna grab that and move it there. I know it's a bit small but sometimes you do. But I'm just gonna use it anyway. I could have gotten a better one really but I was kind of in rush scale. Okay, uh, I'm going to move that under that layer. See how things are. Mm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I don't want that thing to be there. So I'm going to rotate the whole thing. 180 degrees uh, 
OK. Then That really is not a lot better. For God's sake, why do things have to be so bloody complicated? You get them right the first time, they never write the second time. You get them right the third time, they never write the fourth time. And they're never right when you're actually broadcasting these bloody tutorials. Never. Same thing happened with the last bloody tutorial I did as well. But I guess that's life, isn't it? And life is cruel. Now, I'm going to get that and just select a, ni a nice big chunk of it. Control C, Control V. Okay, now, just gonna move this layer above for a second. Uh, merge down. Merge down. Move that back underneath. Okay. Yeah. Now, just gonna get rid of this and save. Oh, yeah. Forgot this new version. Overwrite. You have to bloody export now. I actually don't like that at all. <coughs> now, if you saw my other tutorial, you'd know exactly what I was doing. If you press N, you know exactly what I was doing there. I'm gonna press N, I'm gonna. Just like texture is solid, now we can see what it looks like. seem a little bit, but not that much. And depending on what type of model you're going for, it doesn't matter that much. And there you barely see it at all. In fact I actually oh yeah, there you see a little bit. Underneath. Yeah. On top. Hmm. Could have been worse. It's alright actually. Anyway, now we're going to make the actual axe handle look a, bit, a little bit more realistic. So, first thing I want to do is change this from multi texture to GLSL. Turn this off. Go to. No, oh, was it? Yeah, here. Texture. And as you can see, it looks absolutely terrible. I'm going to go back to default for a second. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, I'm going to delete. That, I'm going to duplicate, move it there. Duplicate, move it there. Duplicate, move it there. And that should be fine. Now, I'm going to select this again. Material added. I'm going to make sure that's selected. I'm going to yeah, add a texture. Type image or movie. X.png. Mapping coordinates, UV. Now, where's the camera? Oh, actually, I'll add the camera now. 
and control alt numpad zero. There we go. Now yeah, basically the way you see it in the screen. Just gonna add another point of light and just move it above like that. Yeah, that's better. Now the handle looks fine because if it was sanded properly and all that, that's the way it would look. It would look that um, that shiny, but uh, that's I mean that'd probably be worn away a little bit. There'd probably be loads of um, rust and things like that and grunge. So that's what we're going to add to it. There's this website called CGTextures.com. Brilliant website. I mean, very good textures and there's a lot of textures as well. Um, and just went into decals and found rusted. I got quite a few. I created an account and pre account you can download 20 megabytes a day and that's or 20 textures. I'm not sure which one, but anyway, it's fine. It's, I mean, the most I'm going to download is that much, so I probably won't even download that much a day. And uh, I think you can use it commercially, but I'm not sure. Anyway, the one I'm going to use is... Which one should I use? I will use... won't use that one. I'll use that one. <laughs> okay. File. Open as layers. I'm going to go to... What's this? Finish loading. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go to downloads. Gonna add that in there. No, no. Get rid of that. Downloads. God's sake, it's not what I want. That's better. <sighs> they have to make things annoying, don't they? Oh. What's the name of this bloody image? I know it's a PNG. Is that not in the... No, it's down a bit. It's that one. And that's pretty much what it looks like. Okay. I'm going to... Scale that down. Quite a bit. Turn this back on. Not that. Yeah, that. And... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, now I'm just gonna duplicate that layer, 
and move it over to the other side. Okay. Now, if I save that, for God's sake. Go back into Blender and just like that. And hop over that and press Alt R. And that does nothing. So refresh. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Now. Refresh. There we go. Now you can see it looks nice. Doesn't no you don't see it too much. In fact, you barely see it at all. And that's quite good, but it's still very, very shiny. And you don't like that. You'd want it not that shiny at all. You'd want a few specs. You'd want it that to be a lot more specular but that not really and that will add a couple of scrapes to as well so just open up a different one I like that one when it comes to scrapes Okay. Open as layers. That's not the one I wanted. That's better. Okay. Yeah, okay. Firstly, I'm going to make the opacity of that. I'm going to bring that down slightly. can grab that and move it over the area the way I want it to be okay and then just get rid of the rest so can get that. What do I want? Now I'm just going to press uh, select invert and delete. Okay. Select none. And that should work fine. That's annoying. Uh. Looks 
looks like there's blood on it or something. That does not look very good. That was no one. Uh. Crap. Okay. I think I'll add that in afterwards myself. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now, I'll do that now actually. Yeah. Okay. Texture paint. Yeah. Okay. I'll make it darker. I'm really not sure what I'm doing here, <laughs> to be honest, because this wasn't part of the plan. Do you know what? It looks so terrible that I'm just going to add the texture. Uh. Add another one. Go to downloads. My god, sorry about this, but it has to be done. Hmm. That looks absolutely disgusting. Now, and that looks even worse, looks like some spider's web or something. That's not the one I want, just want it to be imported. Now, here, it doesn't come up anyway. For God's sake, you're annoying. <laughs> that doesn't seem to be working anyway. So, go back to X up in. Oh, oh, it did. Huh. Anyway, I don't like that at all. Anyway, you can mess around it with yourself, 
last thing I want to do is create a specular map for it. So I'm going to uh, keep that open. What I want to do for that is I'll put selection. Select invert. Okay, I'm gonna add a new layer. Top, and I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna make that. Yeah, I'm gonna. Fill in with quite dark gray. Yeah. I don't want that. I'm gonna get that too. Yeah. And just fill that in with with a grey. Now do the same thing on the other side. Go to get that one. Yeah, that one. Uh Alpha to selection. Go back up to this. Fill it in with the grey. Oh yeah. Select invert. Now do that. Gray, 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 that. Okay. That I'm going to leave it the way it is. And for the rest of it, I'm going, I'm going to make that a bit bigger. I'm gonna get that and fill in. That's actually not that bad. Okay, that wasn't the plan, but anyway. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to not save as X point X Spec. Open a blender. I'm going to go up here. A new texture. I'm going to make this image or movie. Open. Okay. UV. Now, if you go down here, turn off color. Uh, specular intensity. Normal. This is interesting because if you notice, I don't want it nearly that much. Oh, it's going out. Yeah, only slightly, like that. It's a bump map. I'll 
talk more about those in a uh, normal map. I'll talk more more about those afterwards. I mean, no, no. I don't want. Uh. That's it. That's what it was. Color. Okay. Yeah, so now, if we render that, looks very nice. Shiny there, shiny there, and not very shiny there. Okay, I'll do this a bit more in detail in a later tutorial because the next one you'll find very interesting will actually go into normal maps. See what this thing actually does. Okay, but for the moment, just leave it the way it is. We won't. It won't be on this. But this exit tour is finally finished. Sorry about the little cock up there. It was really annoying last time it worked, but I scaled it out last time, so no wonder. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Save it first. Okay.